Hey guys, Kevin with Droid Life, and uh, after doing that quick video on the fly earlier this evening um, of the Nexus 4 with widgets on the lock screen, I wanted to do a little bit more professional video. So um, we're going to take another look at widgets on lock screens in Android 4.2, and we're also going to look at multi-user support on tablets since it's a tablet-only thing, but it came in the update the Android 4.2 update that was released tonight to the Nexus 10 Nexus 4. So let's talk about these really quick. So the first thing, let's go back to widgets on the lock screen. So on a tablet, you can see I've got, I've got my new unlock button. And so they've really changed the way the lock screen works. So normally in Android 4.1, you had unlock, and then you had camera button over here, and then you had Google Now up here. Okay, well now it's just an unlock circle. And then if you want to get to Google Now, there's actually this little button, and you can sort of see it. There's this little button right here, this little dotted circle, and you can grab that and swipe up, and that'll get you into Google Now. Um, camera, at least with tablets anyway, since this new update, I can't figure out how to get to the camera, you know, from the lock screen. So uh, you can see I've got widgets set up here in this sort of carousel, and I can keep adding more, but there's no shortcut to the camera. So if we look at the phone version, you can see it pulls up and I've got, you know, I can unlock it in basically any direction. Okay. And then down here I can pull up to Google now. And then to get to the camera, you just swipe right and there's the camera. So it appears that they've taken away the shortcut to get to the camera on tablets. So again, you can get there on the phone just by swiping to the right on the tablet, and the dimming is driving me nuts. You cannot get there if I swipe right here or if I go over here, can't get to the camera. So it doesn't appear to be a, a camera shortcut. But let's talk about widgets for a second. So if I touch in here, I'm not actually sure what that's doing. I can touch back out. But if I grab here and just sort of swipe, um, it's basically like a page. It's almost like a home screen. I'm not really sure what the point is, but they're sort of shortcuts. Actually, it looks okay on the tablet. I don't know that I necessarily get it on the phone. Um, but so you can see, I can actually long press and I can remove. I can rearrange these. However, oops, let me try that again. I can rearrange these. Um, but yeah, so I can delete and I'll actually show you. Let's get rid of, let's get rid of these. All right, so widgets, so basically this is what your home screen will look like. If I uh, go ahead and swipe to the left, I get this plus symbol, so I can hit plus. And on tablets, you only have a couple of options. You have calendar, Gmail, sound search, and digital clock. So I can go ahead and do calendar. It gives me a calendar, and I don't have an account set up, so it's not showing anything. I can swipe over again, do sound search, swipe over again. And I can't do Gmail because I don't have accounts on here, but I can do digital clock again. Swipe over. I don't know how many times I can do this, but let's see if we can find out. Oh, that might be it. Yep, so I can't want well, to add any more. Okay, so there you go. So now you have this carousel of almost like home screens on your lock screen, which is a little silly. But, you know, again, I can long press. Try that again. So it's a little, it takes a little work to get used to these. So I can just keep getting rid of these. And we'll try that again, and there we go. So now we're back to just one. Obviously we can unlock it into the tablet. So that's sort of how widgets work on a tablet lock screen. Now let's look again at the phone because it's a little bit different and it's a hell of a lot more confusing. All right, so we've got this set up. So again, I can swipe to the right and it'll take me right into the camera. And I can go ahead and snap a photo. Um, if I go back to that though, I can go left and then I can add something. So let's add sound search. Okay, so sound search is added. And you can see the unlock switch is still there, but if I want to go back to my clock, there's my clock. But you can see the unlock switch is sort of gone. So if I want to get that back, I actually have to swipe up and then there it shows back up again. And I can swipe down. And the, the odd thing is, like, I would love to have sound search over here under the clock since there's obviously all this space under there. At this point in time, you can only do one widget per, per page. So I can swipe over, and I can swipe over, and I could add, and then I could add calendar or whatever. You can see on the phone you get messaging, so you get a fifth option. And you didn't have that fifth option on the uh, tablet. So let's go back, and that actually unlocked it. 
So let's swipe over and I don't want this one anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. There's my clock, I'm good with that, calendar. Swipe that up, then I can go to unlock or I can get to Google Now by pulling up from the very bottom. So you can see it's a little bit different on the phone. And again, it's a little more confusing, I would say too. Um, also of note, when you unlock, you can see, let's see if we can show you that again. See those two panels on these sides? They sort of show you that you have widgets and you can swipe if you want to. I know we can swipe that down. I don't know why we would, but that just lets you get to pages easier. Oops. So yeah, that's widgets on the lock screen. Obviously there's gonna be some opportunities for app makers and developers to sort of, you know, add their widgets to. I'm sure there's gonna be an API or something like that once this hits AOSP. So that's sort of how widgets work. Um, let's talk now quickly then about multi-user support. Okay, so this is only in tablets, not in the phone, so that's why we're putting these. And actually, if you heard that beep, that's now on my wireless charger, which I'm loving, by the way. So, all right, so uh, multi-users. You can see at the bottom here, I have two users. I have fake, and there, just switch to that, and I have Kellen. All right, so if I go ahead and unlock... This is Kellen. So this is my main account. Uh, if we go ahead and go into settings and we go to, you can see users over here, tap on users. And this is where you sort of set it up now. Once you get this new update, which if you buy a Nexus 10 or Nexus 4, you'll get this update immediately. You have this users option and you'll see it says Kellen nickname, owner info, and then it says other users. So I added fake, I can add another user and it says you can walk through this. Make sure they're available to walk through it. Set up now. And there, now I have a third user you can see down there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and unlock. It says welcome because it's the first time this person. I'm not going to set up a Google account. Not right now. Sure, let's use all that. And I'll say super cool. So user number three is called super cool. All right. That's all done. Now I should have three, and then again, it's gonna walk you through how to sort of use the tablet. So let's go ahead and go into back into settings, show you this again. Users, now I have super cool, Kellen, fake. There we have everyone, right? right if we wanna to toggle between these, pull this menu down, and over here we have basically our user icon. I can go ahead and tap that, and it takes me back to the lock screen, and then it lets me choose down here if I wanna use Let's see if we can get that to focus. Not so much. Uh, that one says fake. That one says Kellen. There we go. And if I want to choose fake, go ahead and hit fake. And it'll load that profile. You can see it's changing the wallpaper and everything. So it'll change your apps. It'll change, I think, even if you've left off from a game. It'll, it'll Basically, it'll save every setting you have for that user. Same thing if I go over here to Kellen. It should change my wallpaper and go to my settings. Um, unlock. And there, now I'm the user and the owner on there. Uh, and then again, if I want to just toggle off, I just pull that down, hit that button, and then switch over, and I can switch users. So you can see if you had a family, a bunch of users, kids, parents, grandparents, whatever, it would be awesome to have all these multi-user set up. I haven't actually overloaded to see how many users it'll take, but so far it'll at least take a few. And it works really well. I mean, you really can just toggle between users easily. I haven't actually played with um, security settings yet, but I would assume you could set up pattern locks and all that stuff depending on the user, which is kind of cool. So uh, we'll have more on this later, but we just want to show you a brief overview tonight. So anyway, that's widgets on the lock screen, multi-user support on tablets, and uh, we'll have more coming for you on Android 4.2, Nexus 10, Nexus 4, and uh, we're Droid Life. Peace.